I know what you're thinking when you hear Oklahoma. Tornadoes, cowboys, cows roaming the street, and well, grass. But I'm here to show you there is so much more to Oklahoma. We have a bustling nightlife scene, thriving businesses, and much, much more. This is Everything Oklahoma. Hey guys, welcome back to Everything Oklahoma. In this video, we are going to talk about the best places to eat in Oklahoma City under $20. That way, you can go get your stomach filled and keep your wallet filled too. So if you're ready to hear about these cheap eats, just keep watching. Number 10, Someplace Else Deli and Bakery. Got a hankering for a delicious Sammy? This place is the spot for you. It's located off 23rd and Classen, and they've got anything you can want in a sandwich. Hot or cold sandwiches, meated or meatless sandwiches, and the bread, that is just straight cloud-like. Desserts that would give your grandma a run for her money. Why would you want to go someplace else? <laughs> See what I did there? <laughs> the cool thing about this store is that you can get just about every sandwich on the menu for about $4.35. Sides will run you about $1.09, and if you are feeling like something sweet, check out one of their amazing and super big cookies, which will hit you for about $0.69. Cents. Number 9, Sheesh Mahal. What can I say about the Sheesh Mahal except... Sheesh, this is some of the best Pakistani food in Oklahoma City. It's a low-key eatery with a menu of halal Pakistani and Indian dishes for eat in or take out. This is hands down the best Pakistani food I have ever had, like ever. The staff is so friendly. The complimentary mint tea is perfect. This restaurant, food, and staff seriously deserve every five-star accommodation available. Definitely try the butter chicken or the tikka masala, and both are only $6.99. Actually, why not try both? Number eight, Ice Event Center and Grill. Are you ready for some of the best catfish in Oklahoma City? Look no further than the Ice Event Center and Grill. Not only is all the food on the menu excellent, but, and more importantly, in my opinion, this space is almost like a community center and hosts everything from concerts to live jam sessions to comedy nights and more. If there were more Mark Flemings in this world, the world would be a better place. So what's good at ice? One word, catfish basket. Okay, well, two words. But you can grab a catfish basket with a side for $9. Definitely worth a stop if you're on the east side of Oklahoma City. Number seven, Coney Island. This place is a veritable icon in Oklahoma City and has been around since the early 20s. The wieners here are delicious and generous in size and the prices are eminently reasonable. So uh, let's just say they're cheap. With friendly staff and a great hole-in-the-wall atmosphere, this is the perfect stop for a quick hot dog fit. Listen, don't go inside expecting a keto-friendly experience or ambiance or anything with kale or arugula, honey. This is not this type of joint at all. Also, bring cash. This place takes cash only, so you can leave those ATM cards in the car. This is a guilty pleasure comfort food served up cheap and hot and delicious. And in a setting that is nothing if not pure nostalgia, check out all the OU memorabilia on the wall. So what would a chili dog run you? Try $1.35, which includes chili, cheese, and onions. Number six, beef and bun, Mr. Catfish. Delicious. This place serves deliciousness. Conveniently located off I-35 in Oklahoma City, Beef and Buns Mr. Catfish may have a funny name, but the delicious food at this hidden gym is no laughing matter. If catfish is your jam, this place is worth checking into. Beef and Bun Mr. Catfish serves up hot and delicious fried catfish with all the fixins. Great service, real southern hospitality, and the owners are extremely nice. 
A catfish dinner, including four pieces of fish and two sides, will only set you back about $11. You can do so much worse. Number five, Tacoville. Tacoville is a no-nonsense counter-served joint serving up Mexican favorites like tacos and burritos since 1967. Now, let's be honest, this place is a hole in the wall. It's an old gas station, and from the outside, it looks kind of grubby, and you probably never stop. However, you would be making a huge mistake. The people are super nice. They have super quick service and super delicious food. All around, Taco Bell is super. A tamales dinner consisting of two tamales and a side will add up to about $3.89 while you can get a huge, and I mean huge, burrito to fill your belly coming in at $2.79. Number four, Ceci Bon. Ceci Bon is a true family-owned and operated restaurant that has brought Cajun flair to Oklahoma City. They've expanded from one location to three locations with a food truck included. The prices are very reasonable, especially for what you get, and you get a lot of food with your order. What I love most about Ceci Bone is not only the catfish, but how the catfish is prepared. Instead of full pieces, you get these little catfish strips of deliciousness that are next level. You can order a half pound or a pound, but for only $9.99 for the pound, trust us, you're gonna wanna get that pound. Also, just as epic, each order comes with a free slice of bread pudding, compliments of chef meals. Number three, Florence's. With its country chic decor, walls adorned with art from local artists, professional services, and an atmosphere that will transport you back to your grandmother's kitchen, this is the place that you can have Sunday dinner every day. This long-running establishment dishes up Southern comfort food classics and laid-back surrounds. Florence's is not just a great restaurant. It's an Oklahoma City institution established in April of 1952, and the quality has always been top-notch. This place is soul food at its finest. Fried chicken? Check. Candied yams? Check. Fried pork chops? Check. A huge fried chicken plate will run you about $13, but be sure to try Miss Florence's signature dish. It's fried chicken dipped in candy yam sauce. I know, I know, you may not quite think that you want that, but trust me, you do. Number two, Nick's Grill. Nick's is a must try while in Oklahoma City. A word of caution. There's only about 15 to 20 seats in the whole restaurant, so get there early before the line is literally around the block. Like, literally. Nix is run by a two-man team. Seriously, just two guys, but they move at lightning speed and even make time to ask you exactly what you want on your burger so you're not stuck with all those odds and ends that you sit on the plate and pull off because you don't eat that on your burger. And... While we're on the subject of burgers, let's talk about these burgers. They're huge, they're greasy, and they're made with this quality beef that you can only really find in Oklahoma, and you can taste with each bite. You can taste the years of the seasoning from that flat top burner that they use. It's sheer perfection in every bite, trust me. It doesn't even hurt that they were featured on diners, drive-ins, and dives. Combos come with shoestring fries for about $12.99, but remember that this is a cash-only establishment, so hit that ATM before you get here. Before we get to the number one spot, make sure you are subscribed to the channel. For one, Bobo's Chicken. Listen, if you've ever been in Oklahoma City for any amount of time, you know about Bobo's. If not, listen up and listen up good. Best chicken ever. Bobo's chicken is so special because of how it's made. First they smoke it, then they fry it, giving you a taste of smoke in every crunchy bite. What has made some businesses fail has made Bobo's thrive. First off, they don't even have a store or restaurant. It's in a legit food truck. They made food trucks famous in Oklahoma City before Oklahoma City had a food truck scene. Also, let's be honest, it's not in the best location either. And since they're in the food truck, they could move to a different location, 
but they don't want to. They stay exactly where they started. The location, uh, some say it looks scary, but put on your big boy and your big girl pants and take a chance. Bobo's attracts customers from all walks of life. Black people, white people, rich people, poor people, blue collar people, even up to the local politicians working right up the road at the state capitol. Oklahomans united by one thing, some amazing chicken. Another signature move that Bobo makes is their honey sauce. They put that thing on everything. You may think you don't like it, but trust me, you like it. You like it a lot. Four pieces of their wings with fries and a biscuit drenched in that famous honey sauce will only set you back $6.99. And this is why they are number one. All right guys, we have reached the end of the video and if you have enjoyed it, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, hit that subscribe button so you can stay updated when we post new content about Oklahoma City. No matter if your reason for coming to Oklahoma City was business, to appreciate the culture, or even for a night out, just remember to save a little bit of time to experience one of these amazing restaurants. We'll see you in the next video, friends. Bye!